Jake, what do you think has really clicked for you at the plate from a power perspective? Um, I mean, as ironic as it sounds, just not trying to hit for power. Just trying to put the barrel on the ball and let good things happen from there. You've had a couple stops along the way. Just how personally satisfying is it to see the results at this level? Uh, yeah, I mean, right now I'm just kind of in a state of mind where I'm just grateful to walk into the building every day. And um, I think that's translating to just enjoying myself more on the field, which is allowing me to just uh, play free. I know you had a lot of family and friends in attendance today. To have that type of afternoon with them here, does that add to it? Does it make it a little bit more special for you? Yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously, you know, with your parents and your wife and her parents and everybody in the stands, you want to have a good game. But that was just uh, that was something that I wasn't really expecting, to be honest with you. What did you think of Judge's catch? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, Guy just does it on both ends of the field. Probably saved the game right there. At least saves a lot of the momentum and kind of swung it back our way. What's going through your mind as you watch him go through the gate there? Uh, I hope he's okay. I mean, that's uh, that's a pretty big hit against that fence, and it didn't look good. You know, the way with the concrete at the bottom, I know all too well about that. So, um, yeah, I mean, guy's an unbelievable player. Goes out and does it every day. Coaches and Scranton helped you change your swing a little bit. How, how much do you attribute your success to that? All of it. All of it. Um, ever since I got traded here last year, it's just kind of been a steady uptrend in terms of how I feel at the plate. And, um, you know, I really owe it all to uh, the Yankees, the Yankees hitting philosophy and uh, the coaches here. Was it at all a tough buy-in for you at first when, when they had spoken to you and you kind of started tinkering with things? No, I mean, I had nothing to lose. I was hitting a buck 30 in AAA, um, feeling like I might have been at the end of my career. I didn't know if I would ever be back in the big leagues. And so when I got traded over and they said, hey, this is what we do here, I said, you know, whatever you guys want me to do is what I'm going to do. And um, so, like I said, all credit goes to them. What's the biggest change in the, in the hitting? What, the biggest change they made? Um, I mean, it's been a lot of stuff just over the past year or so that has really helped. But I think mainly just getting my bat path flatter through the zone has given me um, a bigger margin of error in terms of, you know, whether I'm on time or not. I'm not so in and out of the zone. I'm flatter through it and, uh, you know, making contact more. You had that success in the beginning of the year. Do you, you come up here. Do you, in your mind, are you confident that that's going to translate to to hits here or do you have to kind of go through this and what's your confidence level now after being here for a month and a half or so? I think I'm still in a mode where I'm just taking everything day by day. Like I said, um, grateful every day I get to walk into this building and um, as long as they keep letting me in, I'm going to give them everything I got. Secret that this team since last year has been looking for a lefty hitting outfielder. Do you see that as an opportunity for you? Do you keep doing what you're doing? I mean, I think every single day I get to walk in here is an opportunity, right? I mean, I can't stress it enough. Like, I'm just so thankful to be here. I'm so thankful for every day I'm in that lineup. I'm thankful for every day I get to step on that field. And uh, like I said, man, as, as long as they keep letting me in, I'm going to give them everything I got. Jake, how long was the process? I mean, I know it's never ending, but when you got to Scranton and they, you just told them, I'll do whatever you need me to do, from then to when you felt like, I have a new swing, like, how long was that? I don't really think everything really clicked for me until the end of spring training this year. This year. Yeah, where I, I, towards the last couple of days, I hit some balls hard that felt different. And then, um, you know, the start of the season there, just kept swinging it, kept going, and um, just kept getting good results. Those two today feel, feel different? Yeah, yeah. Those two today were uh, felt different. Those were the swings that, you know, I've kind of been taking now for the last couple months, and, um, you know, feels good.